West Indies comfortably won the third T20 match against South Africa by eight wickets to make a clean sweep of the three-match series. The black wash once again underlined West Indies' superiority in the shortest and youngest gamut of the game. West Indies extended their recent dominance over South Africa by winning their eight out of the ten matches between the two sides in the last one year. The clean sweep in T20 came after an embarrassing white wash to England and a series defeat at home to South Africa. The below-par performance in Test was a big letdown especially after a historic series-leveling win against Australia in Brisbane. The Gabba win proved to be a mirage as West Indies again struggled to put their best team for Test matches this season. In all matches this season, West Indies enjoyed periods of dominance but couldn't sustain it over a longer period and they surrendered the initiative to their rivals. As co-host West Indies courted disappointment in T20 World Cup after failing to progress into the semi-finals. A World Cup triumph could have given the much-needed impetus to the game in the country. Nevertheless, Windies are still a dangerous side in T20 and on their day are world beaters. Aggressive batters like Nicholas Puran, Roman Powell and Hetmeyer can be destructive. Good spinners backed up by decent paces, Windies have every department covered in T20. But inconsistency and inability to perform as a team has been their undoing. If Windies can find the consistency they displayed against South Africans regularly then they will be hard to beat in T20 cricket.